guys, we've made it to Cosmo. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this place. Love, love, love. We have a terrace fountain room, of course, because if you're going to stay here, why not? Uh, we're on the 50th floor. That's in the Chelsea Tower, which is perfect because the uh, cabana we have rented will be at the Chelsea Pool. Uh, we want the Chelsea Pool just because it's uh, a little smaller, probably a little quieter, which is kind of more our speed. Anyway, here's the room. You come in. Uh, the, I've done a um, review of the of the King Fountain View and also the One Bedroom King. Uh, I'll put links up to those in case you want to see them. But I thought I'd do a review here because this is the Queen Fountain uh, View and I've never stayed in here. So when you first come in, you have the bathroom here to your right. Have the nice jetted tub. The difference between this and the one bedroom is the one bedroom has the soaking tub. Now here is the shower, nice, nice rainwater head, again a bench seat to sit on, plenty of room, there's dual sinks which is perfect because it's my daughter and I, got the lighted mirrors, you've got your you know basic toiletries that everybody gives. And I'm assuming there's shampoo and conditioner in the shower. Yes, there is. Okay, and then here, bathroom is behind its own little door, just, you know, in case you want your privacy. Lovely uh, person watching you there in the bathroom. <laughs> but basic little bathroom stall. All right, let's head out of the bathroom. We head to our right, and there's the bedroom part. It's all one room, obviously. Nice big TV. And um, we decided to get two queens. Uh, just depends on when you ask. Sometimes there's an upcharge for getting the two queens as opposed to the king. And sometimes not. We did not, so we got fortunate. Um, you've got a few plug-ins here by the lamp. They actually still have pen and paper, which none of the other casinos that I've stayed in this trip have. And then you have your little night light that pops out on each of the beds. I'll show you that when I get over there. And here is your little entertainment center. And unlike uh, any of the other hotels, they still have a mini bar here, which I was actually very surprised. You have your snacks, water, some bottles of, of drinks. Here is the price list. Oh, they don't show you the price list. You apparently have to scan for that. But if I remember from last time, it's uh, pretty pricey. And they do have a mini bar, which you want to make sure not to touch anything or you get charged. So unless we're desperate, we probably will not be taking advantage of the mini bar. All right, then you've got your little iPad. Uh, last time I was here, they didn't have my name right. Apparently it was still the last person, but it says, Welcome Alice Stribling. You can see the weather, you can check guest services, get all kinds of information. Um, one change is that now they used to have nice glassware. Now it's the, the plastic cups, but you know, that's to be, to be expected. And there is a nice little COVID kit with some hand sanitizer and a couple of masks. They do have a refrigerator here for your own items and looks like Steffi already stocked it with something yum all right and then of course your basic uh, you know closet a couple of racks for suitcases hangers your other closet you have your safe ironing board iron and I believe there's slippers in there then you have another tv by the sitting area because i mean who wants to just have one tv right maybe steph and i want to watch something different you never know the phone there's our little sitting area where we can sit in the evening and relax if we don't want to be on the terrace and here's the little light that i was talking about pops out and you have a nice little reading light in the evening and then uh, temperature control all right and now for the reason that I stay in this room here we go the actual 
walkout terrace. Here is the terrace. There's another little sitting area here. And then just look at this view. Yep. There's the fountains. I will definitely get a fountain show for you. Uh, hopefully a daytime one and a nighttime one. I think during the week they don't start till three, so I didn't catch one yet. You can see the high roller, Paris, the Eiffel Tower. There's the other Cosmo Tower over there. It's the Boulevard Tower. Well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is just nothing better than sitting on a terrace at Cosmo with a cocktail, watching a fountain show, except for maybe once it's dark. Then that, that probably kicks it up a notch.